I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be jumping into this lunch break clean with me as well as going into a diy project for my entryway i'm so excited to show you guys this video and kind of show you what i've been doing around my home there is plenty of cleaning motivation and just ideas on maintaining your home while you are so busy with your schedule i know that i get so far behind when I don't do these little things during my lunch break, instead, if I just sit down and do nothing, I honestly get nothing done and it just stresses me out later when there's just toys and stuff everywhere. So I like to do it when my kids are asleep, especially for their nap time or bedtime, but I prefer when everyone is away, like even the older kids at school. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm doing here and how I maintain my home. I will try to give you some tips as well on maintaining your home throughout this video. I am still a little sick, so I do apologize for my voice. But if you are new here, my name is Justine. We currently live in South Carolina. My husband is in the military, so we are just trying to do the best we can with my husband's crazy schedule. But my channel, like I said, is all about maintaining and cleaning your home and keeping it organized all within a time crunch because we are super busy. I am a mother of three. I have a full-time job and I'm also in college full-time. And again, I said my husband is gone a lot. So I hope that you will join me on my little family here on YouTube and I'm loving just putting out this content for you guys and I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, make sure you do give my video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It is free. We would love to have you here. It just supports me and really helps me out and I just want to help you guys also in return by showing you a whole bunch of ideas and giving you tons of cleaning motivation. And my channel also has dinner recipes, DIY projects, really anything homemaking. I do have a video for the Peloton, but I didn't put it up because I know that some of you guys don't like those videos. So I do struggle with those kind of videos, putting them up. You guys definitely prefer my cleaning videos. So that's what I'm giving you guys. And now I know after this long intro here, let's get into this video. I am starting in my kitchen because I do find that if my kitchen is clean and my countertops are wiped down, I already feel instantly better. I don't really care about toys in my house or just shoes. I mean, it does bother me and that's why I clean, but it's not as bad as when the kitchen's a mess because when my kitchen's a mess, I feel like my life's a mess. So I did want to get this tackled first. I always use my Dawn Power Wash. I absolutely love this and I did get a little scraper tool from the Dollar Tree many, many moons ago. And so I use that to get all of the hard caked on stuff onto these pans off. And that's what I'm going to be starting out with is doing the dishes, getting the dishwasher done and, and put away and just getting everything ready for the day. To clean my sink out, I did end up placing a Grove Collaborative order and that was in my deep clean with me video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in this video somewhere or even in the description box. I will let you know. But I love this stuff. It's the Mrs. Meyers vinegar cleanser and I wanted to try it on my sink because I normally just use the Dawn Power Wash to clean out my sink. So I wanted to try this and then I will also be using this new product on my countertops. It is the Aunt Franny's vinegar spray. I do like it. I think it really gets my countertops clean just like any other surface. However, I feel like the vinegar spray is something you have to get used to. I'm not a big fan of the smell of vinegar. I think it makes my house smell like salt and vinegar chips if you use it too much. But I did use it and I do like it. I'll, I'll use the rest of it, but I wish it was a different smell if, you, if it makes sense. I wish it was like a lemon or just something nicer. I love fresh smelling stuff and vinegar just, yes, it's clean, but it's not my favorite smell. But I do love this product. Friend who can't let go 
when I'm in a hurry, I don't really use my Bonami trick on my electric stove. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I would check those out to really get tough stains off. But I also, in an upcoming video, use the baking soda cream cleanser. But when I'm in a rush, I just use my stainless steel e-cloth and my polishing rag from e-cloth. I absolutely love these. It really gets my stuff clean and I love how it looks. If you guys have a suggestion for how to get underneath the water dispenser a little bit more clean because I did not clean it as well as I should have when I first got here and my kids absolutely let the water run down it and just did not pick it up. So now it is like a stain on my stainless steel. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions to try that on this stainless steel that won't leave it like splotchy or ruin the stainless steel, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys and I really just need the help. I did order that pink stuff. So I want to see like what I can use it on. I'm kind of nervous to use it on stainless steel. I don't know if you can even do that. I'd have to look it up. But again, just leave me some suggestions down below. I'm going to throw in all of my pillows and my pillow covers as well as my blankets because of the kids and dogs. There's stuff all over them. Food, stains, really anything you could name it, it is on it. So I wanted to get these clean and this is actually how I clean all of my delicates or my pillows. I just throw them in the washer machine. I put Paracel in there. I really love this this new detergent. I have heard about it, but I never tried it before and I absolutely love it. I throw in some OxyClean and then sometimes if I really want to smell fresh, I throw in those cleaning, like the freshener beads and I absolutely love doing this and it just makes everything smell so nice and gets the stains out. And I do like having pillow covers just because of how bad my kids ruin pillows. So I am just going to be throwing these into the laundry and if you need an idea on how to wash your pillows, this is it. Just always try to put it on a delicate cycle. I have never had any pillows ruined this way. However, I would test one out before you throw all of them in and see. If not, take a washcloth with some Tide powder and water and wipe down your pillow if it's like a decorative pillow that you can't throw in the wash and it should get the stain out. I love using this method.
after cleaning up my dining room, it is now time to tackle this bench. I really wanted to get it all cleaned out and organized because right now it is just a mess. You're digging through piles of shoes. It just really needed cleaned out. So I wanted to clean this as best as I can because these bins do not come out. We really shoved them in there. I should have gotten smaller ones and I wish I did and use these somewhere else, but I didn't. So they are stuck in there. And so we do have these and I want to get them all cleaned and organized. And then eventually we will be redoing one of the hall closets by the half bath. And that way we can make that into the shoe bin where the extra shoes go. And this is just going to be like a sitting area with some like gloves and hats and just things that we need before we leave. I would love to do this right now, but right now I don't have the time frame. So this is what we're going to do and this is how I make it work. I did forget to put a coffee mug behind this coffee bar. That is why I'm cleaning it right now. It all went behind it. I did the best I could and I should have moved it out, but I didn't think about it when I was cleaning it. So that will definitely be in a future video. But I want to take the this toy bin next to the coffee bar and kind of move it into the living room and go through all the toys, get rid of the ones that we don't need. I really needed to declutter and organize this. And then we are going to end up donating this pack and play just because I don't need it and my son hates it. And he's not here during the day right now because I did find a babysitter for him that kind of helps me out during the week. So I just wanted to get this all cleaned up and have my living room back. I know what you've been down thinking about him again I know that your heart's been broken You should try and let it go and start being yourself you, you. Baby, you 
We are done finally going through this toy bin and cleaning up the main areas of my home we're going to jump into my garage to start a diy project for the entryway table i do have scrap wood from just around that i get so i just used a free piece of wood for this project so it didn't cost me anything but you can go to lowe's you can also get this pre-cut if you would like i don't know what the wood prices are now i know that they have jumped a little bit but if you are interested, just follow along with what I'm doing. I'm trying to kind of skip through all of the extras and show you the gist of this because I know that some of you don't have the time to sit here and watch a full DIY project from beginning to end. So I'm going to try to really give you the important steps and get through this project together. But I am so excited for how this turned out, so please stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please make sure you did hit that subscribe button. Again, it is free and it supports me so much on my journey here on YouTube and you get tons of cleaning motivation ideas on organization, decluttering tips, really a whole bunch of homemaking. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure you do hit that alert bell to all because for some reason YouTube does not notify you unless you do. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine, wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine, wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine, wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. I don't know why my camera wouldn't focus, but this is just the Midwax Classic Walnut Stain or Special Walnut. I'll make sure that I link it below in my description with anything else I used in this video so you guys can get an idea of what you guys want to use and do. 
but I'm just going to hurry up and stain this and I'm going to speed through it as fast as I can so we're not here forever. I know that a lot of people would like to see the process, but also not sit here for 30 minutes watching a video. So I will definitely get that going. Let's finish this project. I did sand and stain this twice so that the finish would look really good because this is a used piece of wood. So I'm not pretty sure on what kind, if it was oak, pine, or whatever. So I just wanted to make sure it was really smooth looking and not blotchy. But here is a tip for getting this kind of stuff off your hands when you don't use gloves. I really should, but I didn't. You go inside and use the Dawn Power Wash and it gets so much off your hands. It's like a degreaser and it really works. And you might have to do it one or two times and then you just go in with regular hand soap and you're good to go. I love Dawn Power Wash. Another day on this project because I wanted to let all the stain and polyurethane really dry because I did do two coats of both and so I am just gonna be putting these better homes and gardens brackets onto this piece of wood but I'm gonna measure and decide the distance between each one so they're even as best as I can however the ones I got from better homes and garden are definitely meant for the wall and the shower so the screws were way too long so you definitely need smaller screws for this project For the back we used keyholes we used our friend's router to get these in he did them really quickly for us and this is all i wanted just so i could move it easily but you can always buy brackets from like walmart or really any kind of store to get that onto the wall and we are finally done with the coat rack that is going to go in the entryway i will show putting it up here in a minute I just wanted to show you guys it is completely done. It's not perfect. Like, again, I did this all by myself with no help from my husband or anything. So I'm very proud of it. But I will put this up and we'll decorate it and that'll be it. That is the end of this video. I hope that you guys liked how this DIY project turned out because I love how it turned out. I hope that you guys got tons of cleaning motivation and ideas on maintaining and cleaning your own home. And I hope to see you guys back in my next video. As well as if you have not already, make sure you do subscribe. I would love to have you over here on my channel. We are growing and moving as fast as possible on this channel and I'm so excited for what the future holds here as well as all of the cleaning motivation and videos and organization videos I have coming out here soon so make sure you are staying tuned for that and hitting that subscribe button you would not want to miss out on these all right I'll see you guys in my next video